Hello there, friends. Oh, I'm really excited because oh, I just went to visit my next door neighbour and I got to meet their pet cat. Huh? Did you know that cats can sleep for 16 hours a day? Oh. If I slept for that long, I'd have no time for drawing. Oh, snacks. Mm -mm -mm. They're also really fast. They can run up to 30 miles an hour. That's almost as fast as a car. I bet I can run that fast. <laughs> well, maybe not quite that fast. So, cats can also jump pretty high. Six times their body height in one leap. Almost, close enough. Cats are cool creatures though, aren't they? I think I should draw one. Maybe some of you can help too. Let's go. Did Chester say he wants to draw a cat? Hmm, I've never drawn a cat before. I don't think I'd be very good at it. Oh dear. Did you hear? Oh, well, never mind. <gasps> hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> hmm, shall we draw a cat today? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. You're going to need a piece of paper, any kind will do, <laughs> and a pen or a pencil, any colour you like, <gasps> and your imagination. <laughs> hmm. Because I'm only a little monster, I've asked somebody to come in and help. He's an artist called Puzzle. Yeah. Hey guys, hello everyone. Hey. Hello. Nice to see you guys. Um, Chester said that you wanted to draw cats, is that right? Yeah. Awesome. Let's get started. And remember, if you're watching at home, we can pause if it's going too fast. Maybe just stick to pause in the video. Ah. Right, let's draw some cats. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is about halfway down your page, we're going to do where the head is going to be. So the first thing we're going to do is draw some eyes. So we're going to draw a big circle on this side, and exactly the same just on the other side, not too far apart, just like that. Two circles in the middle page. Once in that, we're going to draw two smaller circles in the middle for the pupils so they can see where they're going. Just like that. The cat's left two eyes. Okay, now we're going to, go to obviously add the nose, which is an upside down triangle. So we're going to draw a nice long line right underneath where the eyes go, like that. Then we're going to draw two more lines join up together underneath like that, so you've got a nice triangle shape. And then there's like that. And we're going to draw a small line, just coming out from the bottom of the nose, just like this. Tiny little line like that. And then, a big letter W for the big smile. So you've got a curvy line there, a curvy line there, like that. It should have smiley mouth and to add a little bit extra to it we just do two little lines at the top of that where the cheeks are and then smile got a smiley cat amazing next thing we're going to draw are the ears very important so these are triangles as well we do it just above the eyes like that and exactly the same And inside that, we're going to draw two smaller triangles, just like that. There we go. Once in that, we're going to do a fun bit, which is the spiky, fluffy hair in between. This is just a nice, fluffy, spiky shape for all of their fluffy fur, which is in between their ears. The more fluffy you add, the fluffier your cat will be. When done that, we're going to add the cheeks, which are also fluffy. So we're going to take a line from the side of the ears like this. So we're going to go down into some triangle shapes. I'm doing three. You can do as many as you like. These spiky shapes make it like they've got fluffy cheeks. And then we'll do exactly the same from the other ear. So another triangle shape, another triangle shape, another triangle shape, just like that. And now we're going to draw the rest of the head. So we're going to join up this line to this line here. So we're going to go all the way along 
nice curved shape like that for the bottom of his head. And obviously cats have whiskers, so we're going to draw some dots on his sort of cheeks there like that. And you can draw some lines coming out. And you can give them as many whiskers as you like. I'm going to do three like that, all different lengths as well. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw the body. So we're going to take a line from underneath the, the head like that. We're going to do a big curve, almost the bottom of the page, and we're going to stop that. Exactly the same on this side too. Do a big curve all the way down, almost to the bottom. We're not going to fill it in just yet. Right. So now we're going to give them some legs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line down, and then another line down just next to it, like that, for the first leg. And once on that, we're going to do another line. So we've got this third line here, and then a fourth line next to it, so it should have these kind of rectangle shapes here like that. Now, so I'm not going to give them some pause. So again, this is a nice hill curve shape at the bottom of those two lines, like that. And another curved hill shape at the bottom of those two lines as well. So kind of two hill shape. And then just a straight line along the bottom of those like that to fill that in. And then if you add in two small lines inside those to make where the toes go. Right. Then we can join this line up here, just a little curved line in between. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the back legs. So we're going to go sort of down the bottom half of the body, we're going to do a nice big curve like that, all the way to the front leg. And a nice big curve from this one all the way to the front leg like that. Two big curves coming out the bottom. And we're going to do a, like just like these ones, we're going to make them a little bit bigger. So we're going to do a nice big long curve shape like that. And this side, nice big long curve as well. Where the back feet are going to go. And then just like with the first two, we're going to do a nice line on the bottom. And a nice line on the bottom of that one too. Just like that. And exactly the same as these ones, we're going to give them some more toes. That's two more small lines right in the middle of those feet. And the next thing we're going to add, and again, you can make this as long or as short or as fluffy as you like. We're going to draw a big tail, and that is from this leg here, we're going to do a nice big curvy shape. And we're going to loop that round and fill that in and join it right back up. There, like that. So a nice big curvy swishy tail. Just like that. Once we've added the tail, we're going to add in a nice fluffy chest. So, this gap we've got here, we're going to do some nice, just like on top of the head, some nice kind of scruffy, scribbly, spiky shapes with a fluffy chest like this. And imagine that you can design your cat however you like. So if you've got a cat at home or a cat that you particularly like, you can make them look like that. So I'm going to give mine a different colour to the end of the tail and I'm going to give mine some stripes as well. So you can add on, you can make your cat spotty, make your cat black and white, whatever kind of cat that you want. I'm going to add in some stripes on the legs and on the side as well. There we go, once you finish drawing your cat, however you want to do, obviously make sure you sign your name on the bottom like all good artists do so everyone knows that it's your work. And that is how you draw a cat. Wow, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, I like your cat. Did you go for hearts on that cat? Yeah. Wow, what made you choose that? Uh, I don't know. Just like hearts? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah wow it looks amazing i love that <laughs> very unique indeed <laughs> i'm taking this piece of pie wow is your cat called summer yeah oh, i love that that's a wow wow do you think they're a friendly cat yeah good so i could pet them yeah yeah excellent i'm definitely gonna pet summer one day I should probably go and draw my own cat now, really. Yeah. Right, back to my den. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'd like to meet that artist one day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perhaps I can draw? That was quite fun. <gasps> hmm, hey, I've got an idea. If you draw your own picture, why not send it into my Instagram at Chester Draws Channel? Yeah. <gasps> and I get to see it that way. That's so exciting. Ha! <laughs> right. I'm off to draw more pictures. See ya! Ha! <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. I'm sure they all did amazing jobs though. My episodes look great. Thanks.